So I'm back today to show you a little bit about my stream table and some of the characteristics that you can see and observe within a river. So what's cool about this is that you really can get some amazing characteristics with the stream, especially with meanders, oxbows, that kind of thing. Okay, the, the meanders and the erosion deposition aspect is really phenomenal in this. So this goes pretty quick. So I will do my best to kind of show you the characteristics regarding this. So basically I have all my sand. I've used a trowel to kind of carve out a really neat channel. Try to do a little bit of a V-shaped channel throughout. So I have a bunch of different spouts up here that I can use. I'm gonna use this spout right here as my water's gonna meander its way through down into my ocean. One thing that you're gonna get, you're gonna get a really good, gonna get a really good delta right here. Okay, I'm just gonna move that sand aside to show you just how well that's gonna form right there. And like I said, I'm gonna point out a couple of characteristics. I'm gonna put some food dye in here. Hopefully we'll get some good uh, hill collapsing and some bank collapsing to show you a lot of the erosion that's taking place. So I'm gonna zoom in on a bunch of different spots. So let's get going. I'm gonna turn the water on. Let's see what we get. So there goes the water. So we got some, immediately some good flow. Got some good discharge, some good velocity. Check out that deposition. Look at that delta. Okay, you've got a really good delta right there, right at the very opening. Look at some of the collapsing on the outside of the meander. Got some really, really good collapsing right here. All that sand's collapsing in. Got, look at the meander, is getting wider right there. Take a look up here, look, take a look upstream. Look how the water is kind of cutting its way into the bank. You have some really good river flow here. Oh, we had a huge collapse right there, that huge amount. Look how that sediment's getting moved. Look, it's just completely getting taken away. It's as if it didn't even exist anymore. Really have some nice water flow. You really can see how the sediments are moving well. You have a nice little sandbar kind of forming right here. So look how wide that meander is. Look at that delta. We've got that perfect triangle shape to this delta. This one worked out real well. Okay, let me put some food dye in here. Let me show you what's gonna happen. If you put food dye into here, the water, water is gonna go faster on the outside, watch. See how that water goes to the outside of the meander? You do it again. Outside, goes all the way to the outside. So if I'm gonna trace that, the food dye went here to the outside and then back again. Really phenomenal example there. We do that one more time. That was just a really good one to show you. Outside, outside, okay? So you end up getting some really, really good uh, results here. So one thing I'm noticing here is it looks like we could be getting the formation of an oxbow. We're starting to get a little bit of erosion here. So I wanna see if I can kind of formulate a little bit of an oxbow. So I wanna take a, an obstruction. I wanna take an obstruction, I'm gonna take this big rock, I'm gonna put this right on top of a, the meander here. Oh, one thing I wanna point out, Look at that sandbar right here. Look how the water, I'll try to get the, try to get the shine of the water. Look how the water's going to the outside of the meander here. Look at that sandbar on the inside. Inside the meander, got a really, really good depositional sandbar. And again, a huge, huge, massive delta. Look how wide that meander's gotten because of the constant eroding to the outside here. But look, we almost have, we almost have ourselves a oxbow lake. What I want to, I'm going to do kind of an extreme example of this, but watch what happens to the flow of the river. The flow of the river is going to look very different. I'm going to put that right there. Look what happened. I changed the trajectory of the river. So that river now is going more linear. It's going to come down and around. Now look at here. This meander is no longer part of that river. So this could be either an oxbow lake or a meandering scar. Look at all that deposition. This is totally cleaned out before. Have a really, really good uh, delta at the end here. So that was pretty phenomenal. This is a river example that you can do if you have, if your school has a stream table. You can even make one of these, even with some sand, uh, kind of a longer pen or a hose or some sort of water source. This worked out really phenomenal today. So I'm hoping you guys enjoyed it. 
I had a lot of fun doing this. My kids love it. It's the way I teach my rivers to my students. And if you don't have a stream table, you gotta get one because they are a lot of fun to play with. We'll talk to you soon, everybody.